Today, we're going to run through the 10 earliest clues to colorectal cancer, starting from the least common to the most common. Colon cancer remains one of the most common cancers worldwide, and younger and younger people are coming down with this cancer more and more frequently. But when caught early, it's one of the most treatable types of cancer. And as more and more people are using AI to get their medical information, we're going to compare the top models and see which one spits out the most accurate medical info. Starting with number 10, the least common early symptom would be nausea and vomiting, which occurs at about 5 to 10 percent of early colon cancers. This is particularly true if the colon cancer occurs on the right side of the colon, which makes it more susceptible to developing a partial obstruction. And that partial obstruction can lead to symptoms of not only abdominal distension, but the nausea and vomiting. Number nine on the list is going to be finding mucus in the stool, which occurs in about 10 to 15 percent of colon cancers. Number eight, occurring in 15 to 20 percent of early colon cancer would be persistent abdominal bloating and or persistent abdominal distension. This often occurs after eating a meal, and that's why it's commonly mistaken for dietary issues and sometimes digestive disorders. Number seven on the list, occurring in 15 to 20 percent of early colon cancer, is unintentional weight loss. Occurring in 25 to 30 percent of cases is number six on the list, pencil thin stools. That's when the tumor is located on the left side of the colon or in the rectum and you end up with this sort of a tunnel or this narrowed passageway and that's what leads to these pencil thin stools. Occurring in 25 to 30 percent of early colon cancers would be abdominal pain and or abdominal cramping. And left-sided tumors tend to cause pain earlier than right-sided tumors. Getting more and more common now, we're talking about fatigue, which occurs in about 30 to 40% of patients. This is more common to be in the right part of the colon or when the tumor's in the right part of the colon, I should say. And the reason why this fatigue develops is because there's slow blood loss from that tumor. And as the hemoglobin levels drop, patients develop iron deficiency anemia, and that's the main reason for the fatigue. So if someone is looking more pale compared to usual, that could be an early clue. One spot to look for pallor, as it's called, would be underneath the eyelids here. So if the pink part is looking more pale compared to normal, that could be an early clue. Tenismus occurs in about 30 to 40% of early colon cancer. Tenismus is the feeling that you have incompletely evacuated your bowels. So you have a bowel movement, normally it feels like you empty things out, but there's that persistent feeling that you didn't empty things out, although in actuality, you did empty things out. Up to number two on the list, we're talking about a symptom that occurs in 50 to 60% of patients, and that is a persistent change in bowel habits, whether that's going from maybe your stools are normally this color, and now they go to that color, or maybe they're hard, and now they go to softish, or maybe it's the other way around, or maybe it's going back and forth any sort of combination of those things where you have a change in the consistency of your bowel movements or the consistency of the actual fecal matter, that's something that should be paid attention to. And finally, the most common early symptom of colon cancer would be blood in the stool. This occurs in 60 to 90% of colon cancers. This could present in the form of bright red blood on the toilet paper. It could be maroonish stools. It could be blackish stools. The presence of multiple symptoms on this list increases the likelihood of colon cancer, especially if they're persistent. None of the symptoms on this list are necessarily specific to colon cancer. They might be caused by hemorrhoids. They might be caused by irritable bowel syndrome or inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. And of course, some people might not have any symptoms of colon cancer in its early stages, and that's why it's so important to get things checked out, including routine screening. Current guidelines recommend colonoscopy screening starting at age 45 for the average risk individual. And now I'm going to compare three different AI models, ChatGPT, Claude, and ADH, and see which one of these models provides the most accurate medical information. ChatGPT has several different models, so we're going to go with the smartest, most intelligent model that they offer, which is the O1 Pro mode. And because the smartest model, the O1 Pro model of ChatGPT, takes a long time to give an answer, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the Claude AI model. And I'm gonna make sure that I copy and paste the same exact prompt into Claude. So here we go. This is takes a couple of seconds. Meanwhile, I'll also copy and paste the same exact prompt into ADH. So what ADH gave us seems pretty accurate. It had 10 symptoms going from least common to most common of the early signs and symptoms of colon cancer. 
Started with number 10, it says unexplained weight loss, then nausea, vomiting, abdominal distension and bloating, seven, narrow stools, six, unexplained anemia, five, persistent abdominal discomfort, four would be the tenismus, the feeling of incomplete bowel emptying, three, the rectal bleeding or blood in the stool, two, unexplained fatigue, and number one, change in bowel habits. Now, these are a little bit different than the ones that I presented to you. A little caveat with that though, is it's actually very, very hard to know exactly the frequency of signs and symptoms in colon cancer because they're, they're actually incredibly hard to study. A lot of it is based on self-reporting. So how much did this patient have with this symptom? And, and so it's not an exact science. I think it's we're in the general ballpark in terms of percentages and going from least common to most common. Now let's compare this to Claude and ChatGPT. This one's a little bit interesting, not because the content is necessarily wrong, but because it actually goes from a list of number 10 to 19, which I specifically instructed it to go from number 10 to number one. And then if you go through the rest of the symptoms, it's pretty much on par with ADH and with what I told you. Now let's check out ChatGPT. Again, it's very really hard to specify exactly the percentages for um, these different occurrences or frequencies of symptoms, but I think overall ChatGPT nailed it in terms of its accuracy. I mean, the list was a little bit different in order, but pretty much the same set of signs or symptoms with the first 10. So I'd say overall ADH, Claude, uh, ChatGPT, all pretty much in the ballpark of accuracy in terms of getting the top 10 most common signs and symptoms of colon cancer. And if you have any other questions about colon cancer, whether it's screening or prevention or any other health or medical question, you can go ahead and click on this link right here so you can download the ADH app and ask it any medical or health question of your choosing. Also, when you download the app, you'll also have access to our ADH community. So go ahead, click on the link below and give it a try.